today I'm going to talk about cycling and aquaponic system, in particular our system. Um, we're running a deep water culture system with about 11,000 gallons total. So it's a it's a commercial system. It's not small by any means. So uh, we'll just kind of go through the numbers here, and we are we are on day 19 um, of the cycle. We we added ammonia 19 days ago, and we'll kind of kind of go through this. We'll show you where we're at now, and how many days it took us you know to get here so we're gonna start with our pH and we've been running a really high pH uh, since we added the ammonia um, we had we added about a gallon to our 11,000 gallons and that gave us pretty close to a four uh, gave us four parts per million and that's what we started with um, our pH just in the last day or two, and today is day 19, but just in the last couple of days has really started to come down, um, which is really good. So today we're running about, and I know it's hard to see on camera, but it's it's running about an eight, uh, which is pretty high, but it's coming down and tomorrow, I suspect it'll be about a 7.8, because um, we've been dropping you know 0.2 every day here in the last couple of days so that's looking pretty good um, so eight days after adding the ammonia we started to see uh, nitrites which was a good sign that means that bacteria were starting to grow and things were starting to work um, and it was just traces at first and every sense uh, we kind of had a, a spike and then uh, the nitrites started slowly going down. They're at about between a 2.0 and a 1 point parts per million. And we just had a bit of a spike because I overfed uh, the fish that we put in a few days ago and we'll get to that. But that was actually a little lower yesterday. And the one that we're really uh, hoping for and kind of excited about are the nitrates and right now they are running somewhere between 10 parts per million and 20 and those are steadily coming up so eight days after adding the ammonia we got nitrites four days later we get we started getting traces of uh, nitrates and then today, 19 days into it, this is where we're at. Um, like I said, the pH is pretty high, uh, but our, our water temperature is pretty low. It's, it's averaged about 61 degrees. Um, we're in South Dakota and it's cold here. And the heater does what it can, what it can do, but uh, the water stays a bit chilly, um, which is okay for us because um, I knew that going into this. The type of fish that we're using is a little bit different than um, probably most people that I've seen online. And uh, we're actually using bait fish that are native to this area. Um, we added those four days ago, which I wouldn't recommend if you're using tilapia or something like that. I mean, our, our water temperatures in the winter time are gonna be just too cold for that. In the summertime, you know, we'll have uh, temperatures that are up there at about 70 to 75. But through the winter, um, it's pretty cold. So tilapia really wouldn't work for us. And so I do a lot of fishing, and I know a lot of people that do, and, and um, bait is readily used in this area. And so I decided to go with bait fish. Something a little different, I know. But... Uh, but it's working for us. And I trap uh, our, our own bait fish. You know, I go and I trap them by ponds that are relatively close to the house here. So we tested the water where I, where I got the fish from. And the pH in that water was pretty high as well. Um, and the nitrites were also pretty high. Um, 
and so I, I thought it was pretty safe to go ahead and add the fish. And the ammonia from the pond that I trapped the fish in was even higher than what we were running in our system. And so I felt pretty safe by adding the fish. And four days ago we did. I added uh, two or three pounds and they all seem to do really good. Um, they're, they're just doing great. And so I added some more and over the last four days we've got up to about 25 pounds worth of fish and uh, they're all doing good. We haven't had a single one die. They've been eating uh, really well. I think they're eating a lot better now than they were out there. You know, most of the, the ponds are still frozen in this area. The water is super cold and not a lot to eat. So, uh, so they're doing really, really well. And I'll keep adding as we go here until we hit the number, you know, that I want to be at. So that's kind of you know with our system <clears throat> that's that's how everything has gone I think it's cycled pretty fast and you know we still got a little ways to go here but uh, all in all everything's doing really well and and uh, you know I think uh, by using fish that are native to this region and are used to the cold and and can tolerate pretty warm temperatures and things like that uh, it's going to be pretty beneficial so that might be something to keep in mind if you're going to do uh, even a, a small home system um, it's pretty tough to heat water to 80 degrees in the winter time in South Dakota or at least this part of South Dakota so it can be done but it's just a lot easier not to have to so but that's where we're at and uh, we'll keep uh, keep coming out with stuff as we progress here but I'd say that we're about two weeks away from being able to uh, put some plants in the system um, we've got some stuff started so that when that day comes we're ready to go and we can get up and running pretty quickly so uh, 19 days is is uh, where we're at and like I said another couple of weeks and I think we're good to go so Everything's going good so far.